Good morning. Please rise and join us in singing our opening hymn, which is found in your blue hymnal, number 525, The Church's One Foundation. Blue hymnal, number 525. We will sing verse 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, 4 and 5. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God's Lord. kingdom, now Amen. and forever. Amen, Almighty God. To you all our hearts are open, all our desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory, all glory in the highest, and peace to his people who dwell here below. Our heavenly Father, our Lord and our Sovereign, to you the Almighty, our praises bestow. We worship and adore you, we bow.
Lord be with you. And with you. Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, you govern all things, both in heaven and on earth. Mercifully hear the supplications of your people, we pray. And in our time, grant us your peace. This we pray through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. O God of all the nations of the earth, remember the multitudes who have been created in your image, but have not known the redeeming work of our Savior, Jesus Christ, and grant that by the prayers and labors of your holy church, they may be brought to know and worship you as you have been revealed in your son Jesus, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. A reading, a reading from the prophet Micah. Hear what the Lord says. Rise, plead your case before the mountains, and let the hills hear your voice. Hear, you mountains, the controversy of the Lord, and listen, you enduring foundations of the earth. For the Lord has a controversy with his people, and he will contend with Israel. O oh, my people, what have I done to you? And what have I wearied you? Answer me, for I brought you up from the land of Egypt and redeemed you from the house of slavery. And I sent you, and I sent before you Moses, Aaron, and Miriam. O my people, remember now what King Balak of Moab devised, and what Balaam, son of Beor, answered him, and what happened from Shittim to Gilgal that you may know the saving acts of the Lord. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with tens of thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression the fruit of my body for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you, but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our psalm will be sung and is an insert in your bulletin. Blessed are the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are the Secures justice for the oppressed, gives 
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he sat down, his disciples came to him. Then he began to speak and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the poor in heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people revile you and persecute you and utter all kinds of evil against you falsely on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward is great in heaven. For in the same way they persecuted the prophets who were before you. The Gospel of the Lord.
The prayers of the people are form six. Please sit, stand, or kneel as your comfort level requires. In peace, we pray, we pray to you, Lord God. For all people in their daily life and work, For this community, the nation, and the world. For all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. For the just and proper use of your creation. For the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression. For all who are in danger, sorrow, or any kind of trouble. For those who minister to the sick, the friends, and the needy. For the peace and unity of the Church of God. For Michael, our presiding bishop, Doug, our bishop, and for all bishops and other ministers, for the special needs and concerns of this congregation, please add your petitions. Trey and Daniela. Hear us, Lord. For your mercy and grace. We pray to you also for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so uphold us by your Spirit that we may live and serve you in newness of life to the honor and glory of your name. Through Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. 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 Let us stand and share God's peace with one another. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Number 191, His Eye is on the Sparrow. Our offertory hymn, hymn number 191, Lift Every Voice and Sing.
thanksgiving for Jesus Christ and his sacrifice. And today we honor all of the volunteers and staff at St. Wilfred Church for the ministry as they fulfill the mission to serve Christ, embrace all, and transform the world. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. We lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, because in the mystery of the word made flesh, you have caused a new light to shine in our hearts, to give the knowledge of your glory in the face of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. As you stand, kneel, or sit according to your comfort level as we continue with Eucharistic prayer B. We give thanks to you, O God, for the goodness and love which you have made known to us in creation, in the calling of Israel to be your people, in your words spoken through the prophets, and above all in the word made flesh, Jesus, your Son. For in these last days you sent him to be incarnate from the Virgin Mary, to be the Savior and Redeemer of the world. In him you've delivered us from evil and made us worthy to stand before you. In him you brought us out of error into truth, out of sin into righteousness, out of death into life. The night before he died for us, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, according to his command, O Father, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory. And we offer our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving to you, O Lord of all, presenting to you from your creation this bread and this wine. We pray, your gracious God, to send your Holy Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the sacrament of the body of Christ.
gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on them in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
325. Remain seated. On verse 3, follow Dan with a trombone for the melody. I will be singing something else. Communion prayer is found on page 366 of the Book of Common Prayer. Let us pray. Almighty and ever living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, be honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. May God, who sent his angels to proclaim the glad news of the Savior's birth, fill you with joy and make you heralds of the gospel. Amen. A little louder, people. Amen. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be with you and those you love this day and always. Amen. Amen. Have a seat for a few minutes. We're going to be brief on the announcements because we have our annual meeting and for everybody who's going to say, oh, gross, gross. Oh, no, not here. I feel like I'm a, uh, an activities director sometimes because I am. Um, we do fun annual meetings. Nobody's going to stand there and read a report. <laughs> Boring. Nobody. This is the deal. And if you didn't get the e-blast, I'm telling you now and I'll remind you in there. You cannot get in that room without taking a number. That number is the table you will sit with. Other people who have the same number. There will be a vestry person or wannabe vestry person sitting at each table. You can't sit down without a number. That means since we have no small children here, 
There will be no separation anxiety among families. You will sit someplace else other than the person you came to church with. Okay? Don't try and work around the system. I'm a German Polak. <laughs> I will find you. I will track you down. And these people tell, so it doesn't help. So when you go over there, take a number at the door. The two wardens, Diane and Ruth, are going to have the piece of paper. will help you find a place to sit. Each person is going to have an opportunity to write down on a piece of paper something about them that nobody knows. For example, our Anne has been gone a long time and perhaps she was a skating star and won an Olympic medal while she was gone. <laughs> so she's going to have that on her piece of paper. And the moderator, which is the vestry person or the vestry wannabe, will start the table conversation with the first person and say, well, Anne, I haven't seen you in a long time. Have you been in Africa? And she'll say, no. Okay, each person in the room will then be asked a question of Anne. Till everybody at the table has had a turn. Then we go to the next person. And Donna's sitting there, and Anna's been an, Donna was an astronaut this week. So she's going to write down she was an astronaut. So when it's her turn, they're going to say, well, Donna, did you drive down to Miami? Donna's going to say, no, I didn't go to Miami. OK, we start that kind of thing, OK? That's going to be the dinner conversation after you get your food. Go get your number. Go get your food. Sit at your table. I will repeat this so we have slow learners. We have paper over there. We will take care of you. We have an allotted time for this. This is the time you're going to get to know somebody different than you know and talk to all the time. I'm trying to make it painless and fun. Okay? So we can do that. And then we will have our annual meeting. And it is on the screen. And we answer three questions. What is the mission of your committee? How have you fulfilled it in relationship to the great mission of this congregation? And what are you going to do next year? See how simple that is? You can't cheat and have those reports that have been written when I was a child and changed the names to protect the innocent and turn it in again. <clears throat> the reason we didn't have a sermon is I get to speak first. There you go. All right, we'll talk about the parish for a few minutes as if anybody missed what we've been doing here. All right, Anne, you have been away. Do you have a birthday? Today. Today. We need to lay hands on you, Anne. You've been gone, trapped by disease and circumstance. So let us lay hands on you and wish you a new happy year. Please come to the center. We're going down here to you, yes. Happy birthday. Father, we thank you for the gift of this wonderful human being, your beloved daughter, who's had so many physical struggles. And it is through that your doctors and nurses and the Holy Spirit, she is with us today, and we thank you. Fill her new year with good health, lots of opportunities to see her hands at work among her friends and among her colleagues. And as, their, as her journey unfolds, she is able to see your handiwork and opening doors for her as she shares the joy and love she has for you. And the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit continue to bless this lovely woman today and always. Amen. 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 Mm. Happy birthday. All right, let's do our closing hymn. Our closing hymn is found in your blue hymnal, number three, 435. We will sing verses 1, 2, 3, and 4. Hymn number 435, blue hymnal. <laughs> 